No, 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 no. Welcome to Showbiz Pizza's History of Rock and Roll. We're going to play some classic rock and roll hits from 1955 to 1964 that everybody loves. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Well, we're ready when you are, Fats, but there were hundreds of groups and thousands of songs. How do you choose the best? Hey, as far as I'm concerned, there wasn't any music at all until surf music came along, okay? So we better play some Beach Boys tunes, Now, dudes. don't worry about it, Beach Bear. We got something for everybody. Oh, and don't forget about all the neat girl groups, you know, my boyfriend's back. Da, 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 oh, oh, yo, Mitzi, da, Mitzi, da, da. I, I think maybe you could do something really cool, oh, yeah. you know, like from uh, Peter, Paul, and Mitzi. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got several requests from the audience. Oh, let me see. Dear Looney Bird, we love rock and roll, but we don't remember the very first rock and roll hit. Can you help us? Hmm. Signed, Linda and Friends. Well, Fats, are we going to help them? Well, of course we are. Right. This is the one that started rock and roll. Fonzie's favorite tune by Bill Haley and the Comets from 1955, Rock Around the Clock. Hit it, Duke. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock. That was really boss, Duke. Like, how can you sing and play drums at the same time? Oh, nothing to it, Beach Bear. Just a lot of uh, practice and incredible natural ability. Oh. It's hard to be humble when you're great, huh, Duke? No, I just like to shine, little darling. <laughs> well, say, that says it all about our next rock and roll hit from 1957. It really shines. From a group called The Diamond. Yeah. Yeah. Sing it for us, yeah. Billy Bob. We'll all help out. Just like the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty good, Fats. But listen, who was the greatest rock and roller of all time? Ooh, I bet everybody there, yeah. wants to know that. Uh -huh. Well, that's not an easy question there, Looney Bird. Uh, there's been a lot of good ones. I don't know about you guys, but the Beach Boys said it all with their version of rock and roll music. You know, any old way you choose it. Well, well, uh, if it's got a backbeat, you can't lose it. Hey, I'm a, I'm a drummer, and I, I know these things, you what, know. What maybe you don't know, Duke, is that song was written and performed by one of the greatest rock and roll performers of all time. And he's still playing rock and roll. Well, what? Still playing? He must be real uh, old, huh? Oh, yeah. man. Now I know. It's got to be Chuck Berry. Oh, like yeah. Chuck Berry. He's, he's the dude who wrote the music to surf and you. USA. Well, go on, Beach Bear, sing for us. Yeah. Pretend it's 1957 all over again. Yeah. yeah. Go go for it. Go, Just let me hear some of that rock and roll music. Any old way you choose it. It's got a bag of beat, you can't lose it. Any old time you use it. It's got to be rock and roll music. If you want to dance with me. If you want to dance with me. Dude. That yeah. song must have been a smash hit for Chuck Berry. And yeah. the Beach Boys. Oh, yeah, and the, the Beatles, too. Speaking of smash hits, does anybody remember the one by J.P. Richardson of Beaumont, Texas? J.P. Yeah. who? Listen, I'll give you a hint. He started off the song by answering the telephone. Gee, I don't know. You say it was a smash hit? Sure was. See if this jogs your rock and roll memory. Hello, baby. Yeah. This is a big bopper speaking. Chantilly lace and a pretty face. A ponytail hanging 
down A wiggle and a walk and a giggle and a talk Woo! Makes the world go round, round, round There ain't nothing in the world like a big-eyed girl That make me act so funny, make me spend my money Make me feel real loose like a long neck goose Like a girl, oh baby, that's what I like Hey, you know, I don't think anybody is too young or too old to rock and roll. It's really fun music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Billy Bob, it's the beat that makes it sweet, though. Yeah, well, you're partial to the drumstick. Without the guitar, rock and roll music just wouldn't happen, man. Well, now, look here, that, guys. Now. Rock and roll is rhythm, bass, drums, guitar, and keyboards. But don't forget that the saxophone has always been instrumental in rock and roll music. Oh, oh boy. Here we go again. All right, all right. So let's do one of our favorite from 1958, complete with saxophone. By the coasters, Duke Beach Bear, let's hear it. Take out the papers and the trash. Boy, you don't get no spending cash. If you don't scrub that kitchen floor, you ain't gonna rock and roll no more. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk back. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Duke, you seem to know a lot about rock and roll. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. It's my uh, business to know. Go ahead now. Ask me anything. Okay. Is it possible to rock without rolling? Uh, Test time. Test time. Well, well, yeah. But only for birds, you see. Birds? Birds. Yeah, that's right. Well, listen, I'm a bird, and I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Okay, Looney Bird. Here's the story in a tune from 1958 by Bobby Day. Check it out. He rocks in the treetops all day long. Singing his song All the little birds on Chaybird Street Love to hear the robin go Tweet, 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 rock and robin Tweet, 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 rock and robin Tweet, 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 go rock and robin Cause we're really gonna rock tonight Tweet Hey, you know, there are a lot of rock and roll legends, but one of my all-time favorites is Ray Charles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, me too. Yeah. He's the coolest around, and he's still grooving, man. Still hanging in there. Say, Fats, do you remember his first big hit? <laughs> you better believe it, Mitzi. A tune called what I Say? Oh, well, come on, Fats, let's do it. We'll all help you out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Back to 1959. Everybody repeat after me. Hey, hey, ho, ho, hey, hey, ho, ho, hey, hey, ho, ho, oh, one more time, tell your mama, tell your pa, I'm gonna send you back to Arkansas, oh, yes, ma'am, if you don't do right, if you don't do right, baby, feel all right now, baby, feel all right, tell me what I say, tell me what I say. Hey, Fats, that was great. Yeah. And now I've got a famous name rock and roll trivia question. Okay. Mm. Try us, Belly Bob. Okay, who was Ernest Evans? Oh, man, mm. that's too easy. He was a uh, uh, lead singer for the uh, Electric Marshmallows. <laughs> I'm afraid oh, no. not, dude. Yeah. Okay, okay, give me another hint. Uh, he had the only record in history to be number one twice in both 1960 and 1962. Mm. Mm. Well, uh, that's a twist. But you'd have to uh, pick the one person uh, I, I can't remember. Hey, Duke, you're smart and don't know it. Okay, I'll give it away. What goes round and around and around? Man, I, I'm ashamed to say it, but I'm stumped. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Duke. Ernest Evans is much better known as Chubby Checker. Oh, yeah. 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 And his record that was number one twice was, just like you said, The Twist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it, everybody. Come on. Yeah, you know, some rock and roll songs have a language of their own with phrases like dip, 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 and sha-na-na. Oh, yeah. 
the oldies but goodies were full of those things, yeah. and they're fun to sing. Yeah, let me teach you some rock and roll language from a beautiful old classic by Rogers and Hart. You mean the dudes who wrote My Funny Valentine did yeah. rock and roll? That is far out. Well, uh, these lyrics were sort of, uh, you might say, uh, adapted. Huh? Well, anyway, uh, repeat after me. Okay. Ba moo ba. Ba moo ba. ba. Ba dang a dong ding. Ba dang a dong ding. Ba ding a dong ding. You have got to be kidding, man. It's factual, Beach Bear. Heavy it's by the Marcells from 1961. Help me out, Duke. Yeah. You saw me standing Ding a dong, ding a ding a dong, ding. Blue moon. Oh yeah, yeah. fantastic! Wow, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, yeah. pretty good. Don't you think it's time for an old song by one of the girl groups from the '60s? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right. Sure. I'm in the mood to sing. And besides, Fats, you promised. Yeah, yeah Fats. That's right, big you fella. said we'd have something for everybody. That's well, right. you're right. And in the early '60s, the radio was playing lots of songs by all girl groups like yeah. uh, the Shirelles, yeah. the the Chiffons. The Dixie Cup. Oh, I like yeah. them. Yeah. But one of the best remembered tunes was one about what happens when somebody gets to making eyes at somebody else's girl. Uh -oh. oh, that's my favorite, yeah. Fats. All the way back to 1963. <laughs> By a group called The Angels. Oh. Tell us about it, Mitzi. Oh. My boyfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. That the U.S. was uh, invaded in 1964. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Say the United States minute. was invaded by who or what? Oh, I bet you're talking about all the British groups that came in and almost took over American rock and roll, like like the Stones and the Dave Clark Five. Yeah, yeah, that's right, right, Beach Bear. But do you remember who led the invasion? I do, I do. His name was Paul. Well, Mitzi, he was just one member of the group they called the Fab Four. And everybody thought their hair was really long, so they, they called them the Mop Tops. Uh, can you believe it? I mean, well, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing them on the Ed Sullivan Show in 1964 singing their first number one song. Uh, okay, then, gang, let's play the first hit song from the group that changed music in America for all time. The, the Beatles! Beatles. Around 1964, seems like everybody in America was crazy about automobiles. Yeah, Fats, and there were lots of songs about cars then. Little GTO, uh -huh. 409. Uh -huh. Yeah, man, it was so cool to go cruising to the beach in my Woody. Uh -huh. I loved riding in white convertibles, you know, like like Thunderbirds and Corvettes. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody liked to get around however they could. You know, enjoy their freedom. Uh -huh. And nobody said it better than the Beach Boys, Fats, so how about it? Sure thing, Beach Bear. Right. It's time for your day in the sun. Oh, <laughs> take it, Beach. Do your thing and we'll harmonize. Beach Boy style. Round, round, get around. I get around. Get around, round, round. I get around. I'm getting bucked driving up and down the same old strip. I gotta find a new place where the kids are hip.
just about does it for our little history of the first 10 years of rock and roll. Did everybody learn something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Back Every time. To, it was like a musical time machine. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a, a blast from the past. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's really a lot of fun. I think you should do a history of rock and roll part two. Yeah. You know, from 1965 to 1975. That's a far-out notion, dude. Maybe we could get into some good vibrations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it proved to me that rock and roll isn't for the birds like me. <laughs> it's something everybody enjoys. Well, then, come back and see us again real soon, folks. We'll start working on some more rock and roll classics. But in the meantime, tell your friends about Showbiz Pizza's History of Rock and Roll. Yeah. Bring them along and see the show again. It's guaranteed to take you back to the future one more time. We're going to sing the old songs like they used to be. So bring your friends to our rock and roll history. See you later, folks. Ciao, dude. Bye, it was fun. So come on back and see the greatest drummer in the world. Bye-bye. Bring it back here real soon.